Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy T back at it with another reaction, coach, or with a review, whatever you want to call this. As y'all know, we've been coming with the updated NFL playoff bracket predictions every week since the wild card game. Today, of course, was the Super Bowl. I'm sure most of y'all who checking this out probably already know what happened. We actually did a live stream today, and I appreciate everybody who tuned in. Um, first of all, y'all told me at the end of that to check out the 100-year anniversary commercial for the NFL, and I wouldn't get copyright. After the video posted, it says it's a copyright claim on it from the NFL for the 100-year anniversary commercial. Bro, y'all some bums for that. You feel me? But no, nah, bro, it was, I think it was probably like 15 people in there consistently throughout the whole thing. It said like 230 people did click in on it, but consistently I would say we had like 15 people in there. This was the first live stream we've actually done on the channel with the exception of I think one of the Saints games we did earlier in the season. So like I said, I appreciate y'all showing love on that. I'm going to start coming with a couple more uh, live streams in the, in the uh, future, so y'all stay tuned for those. But either way, bro, we here for the Chiefs versus the Buccaneers. My reaction to it, you feel me? Now, I didn't get to see all of the first half. I saw, like, clips of the first half, you feel me? I, I didn't really get to tune in, tune in how I wanted to, to the second half. But, bro, 31-9, to 9, imagine, you feel me? I'm at first, like I said, first of all, you got to congratulate Tom Brady because seventh ring, I just seen they said he – he has seven rings himself. The next closest franchise is the New England Patriots with six. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine that, you feel me? That is tough, coach. First year with the Bucks and he go crazy. Now, I've been telling y'all in my playoff prediction videos, I said, there was three narratives I would have liked to see. Tom Brady winning it with the Bucs. Well, first off, Drew Brees winning it with the Saints and retiring. He still hasn't retired yet, so he might be back next year. We're going to wait and see on it. Um, I said I would have liked to see Tom Brady win it just because the whole narrative of him going from one team to another, winning it with that team would be tough. And the third one, excuse me, was Aaron Rodgers winning it when the Packers basically drafted a quarterback to come in and replace him. You feel me? But either way, it's looking like Aaron Rodgers is staying with Green Bay. I think they're going to uh, extend his contract, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but Tom Brady took it, bro. That's tough, you feel me? But my only thing is you got to get – I was saying this in, in the live stream. You have to give credit to the full Tampa Bay team, you feel me? Not just the Tom Brady. Like, of course, Tom Brady came and added his whole flair to the team or his whole persona, like, to the team as far as, like, them stepping up and playing how they need to. You feel me? But we're not going to act like his defense didn't hold it down. Now, as far as the actual Chiefs, though, well, and Brady got MVP. I think he got five Super Bowl MVPs now, if I'm not mistaken. But, bruh, um, the Chiefs, that's tough. Only thing I can say is their defense wasn't really playing too good, but it's like, and first of all, I didn't even put this out there at the start of the video. I'm a Saints fan for all the ones who might not know. You feel me? But either way, bro, um, the Chiefs started with their offensive line, bro. The left tackle was out, and I heard that they moved the right tackle to the left, and they were like they switched a whole bunch of stuff up with the offensive line because they were missing people. So instead of just saying, okay, our left tackle is out, let's insert our second string left tackle, I think they switched the right tackle to left tackle and ended up moving other people down. And they had one person plugged in who had never played this this uh, season, at least, if I'm not mistaken. And that was horrible, you feel me? Patrick Mahomes was getting hawked down on every play, it seemed like, bro. Like he, and then on some of the plays where he did actually have some protection, he either didn't roll out or the wide receivers wasn't open or whatever the case was, bro. It's like they got a couple of different plays on a couple different drives that seemed like they was about to get it rolling. And it always either ended up in a punt or a field goal. It's tough, bro. You the Kansas City Chiefs. You've been averaging like 30 points this whole season. And you can't score one touchdown in the Super Bowl. The biggest game of the season, you basically play your worst game of the season. That's tough. Now, I'm wondering, if, damn, I'm, I'm wondering what Kansas City is going to do with this. They could go either way. I mean, really, you could go three ways. You could just stay as... One of the better teams, but never win another Super Bowl. 
this could be one of those games where you lost it and now your team just plummets like all that magic is just gone basically like that 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 type of thing you feel me even if not that though they could still stay as good as they are and keep going to more Super Bowls and use this as that motivation. But I don't know, bro. What y'all think? How y'all think it's going to be? I know there's a lot of y'all that was still saying that the Chiefs probably still going to come back just as good next year and be good to go. Because really, this is just one bad game for them if you think about it. Like, yeah, it was on the biggest stage, but it's just one bad game. But the fact it was in the Super Bowl is why I feel like it could have a trickle-down effect almost. You feel me? But either way, bro. Like I said, that's tough. I'm hoping my boy Breeze come back this year. I've had a whole lot of rants I wanted to get off for y'all. Um, praising Tom Brady, but bashing my man Drew Breeze for that last game he played. I get he threw, I think, one touchdown, three interceptions or something. But Brady came out against the Packers and threw three touchdowns and three interceptions. I mean, yeah, he threw three touchdowns, so you can't just wipe that off. But I'm just saying, the week after the Bucks played the Saints, they played the Packers. And Brady threw three touchdowns like in the first half and then threw three interceptions in the second. Nobody called that out, you feel me? But it is what it is, bro. He still, they won the Super Bowl. He did his thing offensively because they scored 31 points. But that defense, that's tough, bro. And they were they, – my only thing is this was a shaky defense throughout the whole season. They, they, they never really had – too many, like, I feel like maybe they had two games where it was like, okay, they shutting teams down or they just going crazy. Like, but they, as soon as the playoffs hit, it was like, bro, they just flipped into a, we get like, our defense is on pure fire. You feel me? That's tough. But either way, y'all know I'm still rocking with my Saints. We coming back even stronger next season. Like I said, I'm hoping Drew Brees is going to take this offseason to recover, come back fully healthy for one more year. One more year, bro. If you don't get it done, you just don't get it done. It just wasn't meant to be. But we know this was his last season, or supposed to be, and he got hurt. He rushed it back just a little bit, was still tender for show. Of course, Michael Thomas was still kind of banged up. Hendrickson on our defensive line, our best defense, or one of our best, I would say top two defensive linemen between him and Cam Jordan. He was hurt. Um... So we had a lot of different things that wasn't working in our favor. And then in that last game, that was just an anomaly in my opinion. But either way, bro, again, shouts out to Brady and the Bucks. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I heard a lot of people saying it was rigged and all that because Tampa Bay won at their home. Kansas City was getting all these penalties and all that, and Tampa Bay was barely getting any. Y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about that narrative. You feel me? But, like I said, bro, it is what it is. Shouts out to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady. I think this is the first time I've said this in a video on the channel, but Tom Brady, I'm not a fan of Tom Brady, really. Like, I'm not a, a Tom Brady fan. Like, I'm just going for Tom Brady or nothing. But I am a Michigan fan. Tom Brady did go to Michigan, um, which is why my dad roots for Tom Brady. Nobody else in the family is, is, is like, really a Tom Brady fan. But the fact he went to Michigan is, like, you don't necessarily root against him, you feel me? Like, you you might not root for him, but you don't necessarily root against him. Going into this game, I picked the Chiefs to win it. That was barring everybody was going to be healthy, but that's tough, bro. Not even a touchdown. They couldn't get nothing going, bro. But either way, that's just my thoughts on it, bro. That's the end of another NFL season. Y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about it. Let me know what y'all early predictions is for next season. Y'all know I got my Saints. Saints versus the Chiefs in the Super Bowl will take the dub. You feel me? I heard somebody say something about the Ravens and all. Hey, y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know, bro. Like I said, thoughts on the game. Thoughts on Brady winning his seventh Super Bowl, fifth, MV, fifth Super Bowl MVP. They say he made like $7 million just in the playoffs, just by winning the game. He get $250,000 bonus just for making the playoffs. I think my mom said 500k for the first round, 750 for the next one, then like a million or two million for the Super Bowl. I'm like, bruh, y'all boys is getting racked up out here, you feel me? That's tough, bruh. But either way, man, we just hit 15k subscribers, so y'all already know what that means. We on the road to 20k. Appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going, keep it growing. And like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. 
keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting it lit over here. Catch y'all in the next video. It came with a box. I need a box to sit to the spot. You're trapping this froze, and I'm getting hot. I'm having all the O's looking like in and out. I got to go.